So, hello and welcome to the second GS Guide tutorial. Um, today we're gonna talk about the basics, so how to um, download, install and set up the software basically. It's gonna be a fairly short tutorial. Um, so, first we need to get the package, so we uh, visit the home page of GS Guide, just uh, enter GS Guide in your search engine and uh, the results gonna, gonna probably come up on top. Uh, or just uh, input this URL uh, into the URL address bar. And then uh, click on download guys guy and uh, get the package that you need so this is gonna depend on your operating system for example we offer the Windows X uh, uh, installer package here uh, we also have a package for Mac OS uh, this is a DMG package that you have to extract we, we offer also a, a raw tar file which contains uh, the application and on Linux it's gonna depend on uh, what uh, distribution you're using. So if you're on Linux, you know what, what to do. Um, okay, so once uh, the software is installed, um, we will um, run it. So we just input guy sky or double click on the um, shortcut on your operating system. And that will bring up a new window. Oops, let me move that. Okay, so uh, as I was saying, this um, so Gaia Sky the download package uh, contains only the application. It contains no data. So to get the data, uh, you will be welcomed by this uh, data download window. And what you want to do here is uh, absolutely you need to download at least the default data pack here. This one, uh, otherwise Gaia Sky will not start. This contains the solar system, uh, the planets, etc. So this contains a very um, essential data for Gaia Sky to uh, run, to be able to run at all. Then um, maybe you also, if you've got a decent graphics card, you may also want to get a high resolution textures. This, this will um, get you options uh, to um, basically to go to high and ultra, ultra graphics quality. And here, you also want at least one catalog. Um, all of these are different cuts from the same catalog. So here I would advise to get just one or two and load just one at once. And we'll select the catalog later on. So uh, right now, I'll, maybe I'll get the default catalog. And here we can also have uh, other stuff like um, nearby galaxies or SDSS, uh, these are distant galaxies or nebulae, Milky Way star clusters, etc. Mm. Also, we have the possibility to um, add some uh, 3D meshes, uh, but I'm not gonna get them right now. So once we've selected the data packages that we want to download, we just click here on download and wait until the download is finished. So um, the download has finished, as we can see here, uh, the data packages that we've downloaded are now grayed out. Um, I should have mentioned that uh, in case you don't have internet connection on the, the computer that you're using Gaia Sky on, uh, you can also uh, manually download the data packages and to do so, I'll just point you to this link here on our download pages, just click these data packages and you'll get a link here at the bottom uh, where you can get all the data packages directly from our web server. Okay, so now, um, as I said, the data is downloaded and we'll click start and it will automatically load the catalog that we have uh, downloaded and um, all of the data uh, that we just got from our a web server. So now we just need to wait until everything loads up. Okay, so we're there already. So we can see uh, by default we start uh, focused on Earth and with that we could uh, start playing around with it. Thank you and until the next tutorial.